So there's six main secrets that I use that actually helps me to never feel tired with ADHD. The very first secret I would say that is a big one that helps a lot with my ADHD, not feeling tired all the time, as well as help with a lot of my patients and clients is electrolytes. People with ADHD, especially when you reach adulthood, will reach this burnout. And I find that it's because there's also not an adequate amount of electrolytes, especially things like magnesium, potassium, even in some cases, not getting enough sodium. And I'm not talking about Gatorade here. <laughs> That's definitely doesn't get a sufficient amount of electrolytes and adding the sugar content just makes things worse. So it's getting actually taking some kind of powdered form of electrolyte that doesn't have any added sugar. There's a lot of great brands out there. One of my favorite is from Trace Minerals. It's called Keto Electrolytes because it doesn't have any added sugars. And I love using it even with intermittent fasting or time I'm doing fasting. So using something like electrolytes really help with my energy, helps me just be more focused and consistent throughout the day is because electrolytes is a fuel source for a lot of different mechanisms in our body, especially our brain. And it's something that is very vital and I see all the time that is definitely something that's deficient. And this is why it's something that really helps me and helps a lot of my patients and clients with ADHD. The second thing I would say is definitely being very consistent with your protein intake. I see this as a common problem all the time, even myself included. When I don't get enough protein throughout the day, my energy will suffer and along with my HD, and it will definitely impact my focus because guess what? Dopamine relies heavily on good amino acids, which of course is gonna be healthy or proteins to be taken on a consistent, regular basis. Also a lot of things that deal with a lot of our hormones that help with our energy rely on protein. There's also a lot of different minerals that we can get from our protein intake that also help a lot with our energy levels. So by being just consistent on every single meal, making sure you get a good adequate amount of protein. Something that I do to help with this, I will also do some protein greens uh, for a smoothie for one of my meals. So that way I'm making sure at least I'm getting something in the beginning of the day or the middle day after my workout, I feel really great and just energized and don't have to deal with that slump in my focus and my energy with my ADHD. The third big one I would say that's really helped my energy consistently having great energy with my ADHD is supporting my adrenals. And it's something that I've tested for before in the past and in still do check here and there is really check to see how well my adrenals and my core cell levels look because they tend to sometimes be low. And so what I do is I do some adrenal support, whether this is doing adrenal desiccation or a combination of different herbs that can help support definitely your adrenals consistently. And this does is something I commonly see all the time with my patients and clients with ADHD, especially adults with ADHD reaching burnout is because their adrenals are completely burnt out and are really depleted, which can cause issues of fatigue. And if you support the adrenals, sometimes that's all that you need to do to really fix the situation. Now, the fourth, I would say this is a big game changer for me that I always have to remind myself the importance of consistency with exercise and getting good quality of sleep. If I'm not consistent with my exercise and getting good quality of sleep, usually I will find my energy levels to suffer. But if I'm consistent with this, I never see my energy levels wavering. And so what I do to be really consistent with this is when I set up an alarm when I'm supposed to go to bed versus just alarm to get up. I actually set up alarm to remind myself to go to bed. It's something that's a common problem with a lot of ADHD people. A lot of my patients and clients have this issue too. So I have them just set up an alarm and that can be really helpful. With the exercise, I try to set this up in the middle of the day for me where I want to have that extra energy boost for the rest of the day. So I set up in the middle of the day and I make sure I'm always blocking out time that I can be consistent with my exercise. Now, the fifth one I would say is can be really helpful and has been helpful for me and for a lot of my patients and clients is taking certain supplements that you need particularly. So for me right now, what I'm finding that's really helpful is taking a B complex, uh, you know, B vitamins, especially activated form of B vitamins can really be helpful because they help with a lot of our different neurotransmitters such as like dopamine, serotonin, norepinephrine and epinephrine, which are very vital for having our focus, but also helping with our energy and stress level. The other one that's been really helpful for me currently is taking Lion's Mane Mushroom. It's a powder form and I just take that and I found that does help a lot with my energy. And another one that maybe doesn't really necessarily target energy, but helps a lot with my anxiety. And if you're someone that deals with a lot of anxiety, this actually can cause burnout for your ADHD. So I take something like L-theanine. This helps me be more relaxed so I don't feel like I'm being burnt out and drained at the end of the day because I'm able to help manage my stress better. And then because I've also tested my vitamin D at three levels, I tend to be having low vitamin D levels more in the winter and fall months. So I will supplement 
vitamin D3 because I might be low in that area and that does help a lot with my energy levels. Also because I've also tested this, I have tested my PA levels, phenylalanine levels, and I do take the L-phenylalanine and I do see a big difference, not only with my energy, but also see a big difference with my focus throughout the day. So it's something I do consistently do take. And the other supplement, I already mentioned this, but I do take adrenal desiccated as needed when I feel like it, I am waning a little bit. And this is how I'm making sure that I never feel tired throughout the day with my ADHD so that I can have that focus and energy. Now, if you are someone that is suffering with your ADHD, then you should download my free guide in the description below. It's my ADHD health guide that goes over all the different supplementation, all the foods, all the testing that you should be implementing to help with your ADHD. Now, the sixth thing that I would say is really big when it comes to really making sure if you do have an issue of uh, feeling tired all the time, which is so common that I see with adults with ADHD. You might not as a kid, but then when you reach adulthood, it becomes a big problem and not a lot of people are addressing this. And the best way to really combat this is through doing further investigation, is actually looking at testing of understanding why you are feeling tired with your ADHD. What is the root cause of going on in your body internally? And some of the big things that you could be looking out for is definitely doing and testing hormones. Hormones can significantly change and fluctuate as we are in adulthood and also as you get into your 40s and your 50s. This can change drastically. And by testing like things like testosterone, progesterone, estrogen, even DHEA, which is a precursor to testosterone and estradiol, these are really critical to look at to see if this actually might be causing your exhaustion. The other thing also to be checking for is your cortisol. Cortisol is what actually is what gets us up in the morning, is what is energizes throughout the day. And if your cortisol levels are depleting in particularly different parts of the day, you wanna make sure that you're supporting your adrenals on that. But testing at first can really help you identify that. The other big one is testing a lot of different micronutrients. And so some big ones to really look out for are things such as like zinc, magnesium, checking for iron, Iron is a big one that a lot of people with ADHD can be deficient and will cause symptoms such as low energy, but also even testing vitamin D. That is another big one, along with testing a lot of your different B vitamins, especially vitamin B12 that can contribute to the fatigue situation. Another really important one that I would say, if you're dealing with any kind of digestive issues, that also can cause definitely exhaustion with your ADHD. So testing maybe your gut flora can be really great to be able to check out because if you can address that, because if you're digestive system isn't working properly, guess what? It isn't feeding the rest of the body, it's not feeding the brain. So you're gonna have experiences of feeling fatigued as well as not being focused throughout the day if you don't address the gut. The gut is like a second brain. It's so critical to address the gut health. And if you're not doing that, then you're not gonna have an optimal brain. You're not gonna have optimal energy throughout the day if you don't address it. And then another really big one that I see that's so common, I didn't have this issue. Uh, the ones I did mention, I did run all those tests for myself because I did have some digestive issues in the past. But another one that is common amongst ADHD is thyroid issues. I've tested my thyroid, it's been fine, but I've tested with lots of other patients and a lot of times I will see thyroid issues and thyroid definitely causes not only symptoms of low energy that is very common, but also similar ADHD symptoms. So you have maybe two situations where you have ADHD and thyroid issues that are doubling down and causing double the amount of symptoms, if not triple. So by actually ruling this in or ruling it out is a really important thing. And just running these tests will help you really combat your fatigue situation with your ADHD. But if you are actually really truly suffering with your ADHD and having low energy, then you should watch this video next where I dive in deep about why you feel tired all the time and explaining all the reasons. So watch this video next.